Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different here. I'm going to be doing more of a hair update. More just a talk through really about my hair journey and all that other stuff. So um, let's just get right into that. Um, as you can see here, this is a wash and go. So um, yeah, this is just a wash and go and this is how my hair turned out. It's gotten a lot bigger within the past year. Um, I think I'm going to put a picture in of what it was about a year and a half ago. And this is where it is now. So it's gotten a lot bigger. Um, so basically about my hair care journey. So I started um, my natural hair journey around 2013, 2014. So um, that was when I completely stopped getting perms in 2013, 2014 but I was applying heat to my hair almost daily. It wasn't until 2015 that I stopped using heat or I used heat rather once a year, which is what I've done since then. So since then my hair has grown and I believe in 2015 I also did a big chop. So um, it was, was it a big chop or was it transitioning? I did a chop and a transition and then I, yeah, so. I don't know I don't know what that's called unless it's just trans <laughs> transitioning then my hair literally was about right here like right here when I started um, and that was like stretch length how uh, long it was so as of right now let's see it is I'm trying to pull hair from the back it is right here which is I guess something um, and then in certain areas it's longer certain areas it's shorter because I have never gotten a professional like cut let's see yeah so about right there um and then like it's longer in the back so I can this is a side view oh wait get in the frame the side view of my hair what the heck is going on back there what is this fix yourself okay whatever it's gonna bother me now okay so yeah, this is my curl pattern. Don't know what it is, but there you go. And then, this is the back of my hair. I'm not even sure if I'm in the frame right now, but yeah. Yeah, that's the back of my hair. So, can I pull it? I don't have arms long enough, really. Okay. So that's where it is in the back. Yeah, so that's like bra strap length in the back. So that's where I am with my length. So um, I do not take any vitamins like biotin or anything like that. I've never really done that. I've, I wanted to, but I've never been able to be consistent with it. So I just never really did it. Hair lines that I've stuck with tried and true of course Shea Moisture like everyone loves Cantu and Eden Body Works the main things that I use I will show you in a second but I also use um, Eco Style you know to you know touch up them edges and stuff but I don't use it that much because um, slicking down your edges too much can actually dry them out and break them and we all want to keep our edges so whew, that was a lot to say right there yeah I'm gonna go grab the products that I use with almost all of my styling and things like that so let's do that okay so to start um, the oils that I use would be of course the Jamaican black castor oil here and this is the Jamaican mango and lime brand <sighs> I don't know why I'm out of breath but this is the Jamaica the Jamaican mango and lime brand that a lot of people use so I use the Jamaican black cast oil around the perimeter of my head. So that includes, of course, my edges, which I've had a problem with thin edges, I think, since I got perms on a regular basis. So I started using this about a couple months ago, and it has helped tremendously. Um, it was almost to a point where I had balding edges, and I had to cover them up with all those fads that you saw. Um, so I started using the Jamaican Mac black castor oil as well as massaging daily. I have no problem with being honest about my edges because they are on, they're getting better. So they're improving. So I have no problems with being honest about that. Um, and it's a common problem. So whatever. Then I have, um, my unrefined coconut oil. It's the cold pressed and extra virgin. And this is the one from Walgreens, the big tub. Um, so it's lasting me a long time, but the things that I use I don't have here because I just ran out 
are the um, the Shea Moisture, um, the coconut collection that they have. So I use the Curl Enhancing um, Smoothie for any twist outs or anything like that. Or, um, or the um, Curling Cream from Cantu. I use both of those in the Shea Butter um, collection for my twist outs and things like that. And then I use the Shea Moisture Coconut Collection, their, their um, shampoo and conditioner, because those are the ones that really work for my hair. Or the Shea Moisture, um, the Shea Moisture Moisture Retention Collection that they have. It's in the yellow, um, the yellow mustardish color. I use that one to wash and uh, condition my hair because those are the only ones that work for me to actually cleanse and clarify my scalp as well as keeping the moisture in my hair. Um, other than that, I do use the Cantu Moisture Mask, which is right here. So I use the um, Moisture Mask um, as well as the oils when I do my hot oil treatment. So I do that in a deep condition at the same time. So I'm conditioning my scalp as well as my hair. So I put them all under a cap and then I um, sit for a little bit. Sometimes you can add heat to it if you don't want to sit for very long. Um, and sit under a hooded blow dryer, but I just sit like and chillax, probably get some work done. Um, and then I hop back in the shower or I wash um, the conditioner and hot oil out of my hair. Um, I also recently did start using the uh, Cantu apple cider vinegar root rinse. So um, I get plaque buildup or um, residue around the perimeter of my head because that's where I put the Jamaican black castor oil and any gels or anything to slick my edges down so of course it does get build up there as opposed to elsewhere and therefore I've been using the root rinse whenever I want to get rid of that but I don't really want to um, wash my entire head so I do that around the perimeter of my head I've also been trying the root rinse just in my scalp um, because it does have the nozzle here and you can actually apply it directly to your scalp without having to actually shampoo your entire head which you shouldn't do for natural hair anyway because you don't want to dry it out unless you're trying to cleanse it but you can use a soft cleansing moisture uh, cleansing moisturizer cleansing shampoo on your hair so that you don't strip it so I started recently using that and it works wonders especially for the winter um, and fall the cold seasons um, that's actually really good because it's keeping the moisture in your hair. You need to keep as much moisture in your hair as possible um, during these brutal months for natural hair. As well as with wearing protective styles, you can do this and clean your scalp without having to actually, you know, get underneath everything. So that's actually really good and I would recommend that. I'm going to link everything that I've shown you guys in the description box. Then I also use these two interchangeably, which are the... Cantu Daily Oil Moisturizer and the Cantu Leave-In Conditioning Lotion. They're almost the same thing except the conditioning lotion is a little bit thicker than the um, Daily Oil Moisturizer. But I use them basically every, not every day, definitely not every day, like every other day. Um, I use them like every other day to, you know, put some moisture back into my hair, especially on the ends because... You want to always baby them in. Um, so I use those to make sure that my hair is never really dry rather than moisturized. Now, I don't want to be damp or wet, especially when it's cold outside. I don't want to get sick. But um, I use those just to make sure that my hair has some coating of something on it rather than drying out. And this is what I do for my wash and go. I use, after I get out of the shower, of course, and my hair is still wet. Like, I don't do damp like a lot of people do damp in hair. I do, like, on wet hair because my hair dries really quickly in the back because that's where my kinkiest hair is. So, it, it like, goes like, that's it. And then, um, so I... <laughs> anyway, so... Oh, yes, that feels great. So, when I hop out of the shower, I go and immediately grab my curl enhancing smoothie and my um and my shea moisture coil calm detangler okay coil calm detangler okay 
So I use these two and I further detangle my hair. Of course I do that while I'm in the shower or whenever I have the conditioner in. But after that I also do it again because I want to make sure my hair is completely detangled and free. You know so I can get this thing going on. Um, and then I run those through my hair like I actually run run them through and I'm like clumping the hair together so that it does actually like mold into somewhat of a like a bunch and then it ravels together um, so then I do that and then after that I spray my hair with my can to keep and control holding spritz so I use that and it is a soft holding spritz and it doesn't dry out my hair at all it doesn't have any of the nasty stuff that you usually see in spritz so that's pretty awesome because I still want to get that hold but I don't want to dry out my hair and I don't want to add anything to my hair that will do damage. So the Cantu Keep and Control Holding Spritz does all of that. I used to do the uh, Eco Styler gel throughout my hair but that uh, hard cast, it caused more build up than success for my wash and goes. So once I started doing this, I no longer had the build up but I still had the hold that I was looking for nor was it hard. Like this is not hard at all. I can actually like do all that in you know it's perfectly fine Ooh, that is yes i look good yes serve them honey anyway um <laughs> um so basically with that it does everything that i need and it doesn't give me any stuff that i don't want in my um wash and goes which is how i achieved this right here that's basically it that i have to show you guys because those are the, my main go-to's so far i'm trying to get into some other things um but these are my tried and true things so I might as well tell you how I get my hair this way and how I've gotten it to grow so um I would say it's grown a lot yeah a lot maybe like a good however long this is that's how much oh let's see however long this is is how long it's grown so yeah I guess I'm doing something right of course it could be growing more if I took better care of it but there's only so many hours in the day and I do a lot so I can't but um yeah so that is my hair update as well as my natural hair go-to products for you guys um, if you guys want to see more videos on these types of things like my go-to products for makeup hair fashion or if you want to see um, any hair tutorials um, let me know what you want to see. I will be doing more hair related stuff in the future, um, but I'm no expert at it, which is why I don't specialize in it because I'm not good at it at all. Like, at all. But um, if that's what you guys want to see, of course I'm willing to work on it. Let me know what you think of this video. Definitely comment, like, subscribe, and share. Don't be stingy. Share this info. You don't want to be the only one looking bomb with your natural hair and stuff like that. Share the love. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, um, yeah, 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 that's it, is that it, that's all I got, that's all I got, well thank you guys for watching, um, I hope to see you guys in my next video, bye!